right, hey, let's uh, continue on last faith here and try to finish it up. Might be able to get it completely done end of the stream. Got a few, uh, you know, loose hanging threads we gotta take care of first, but let's get into it, shall we? Okay. Oh, hopefully this works. Hey, controller works for once. <clears throat> and we are getting close, like 70%, so not too bad. All right, so first things first, let us take a look around. I did a couple things here, marker-wise, just so that we don't lose track. There is one, I don't know what the hell it is, the fetus embryo thing. Uh, it's over here. It's pretty easy to miss unless you look at the map. You'll see why it's very easy to miss in a second. And this is where one of the fights are. I don't know when it occurs. It occurs at some point. I guess we'll just keep making progress and see, you know, we'll circle back until it happens. But uh, we only have two of those embryos left to find. And then the weird ink lady quest is done. And we'll just double check on Aldric. Right. See if he's still here. Oh, she, oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Went too high. It's like, where am I? All right, he's still here too. But I'll put a marker for that. Uh, he will show up. He goes back to the region up here. And he will be here. So we'll go fight him in a bit. Once he moves. But for now, let's go grab that embryo thing. Whatever the hell it is. Get that taken care of first. It's right above this. I mean, it's easy to miss. Even with the double jump, you can really barely make out that there's something up there. Just gotta make a way up and around. Taking him out. <laughs> yeah. Take that furniture. So here, what, what, what do? Just barely made it. All right, there's nineteen to twenty. Let's just go make a deposit. to go and it's in an area that we're going to come across I don't think we really have anything else to do Let's just double check I guess we can clear that icon from the map right where are we yep done but yeah there really isn't anything left we just have to do that I guess I'm thinking about the serpent fight, but we'll wait till we get to a level 10 weapon. That'll be soon enough. And if we look at the high walls, which is where we're going to go next. Where are the high walls? They're like over here? Here we go. Yeah, we just have to go this way. So that's it. Back to our old farming spot. We'll actually make progress. the hell 
was it? Bup, bup, beep, bup, beep, bup. There it is. items now <laughs> and staring them as I farm for ages here Whoop. so it was one of those like black spider doors here but I accidentally opened it earlier and I just fighting these guys I thought I was gonna execute them but I opened the door instead so well say that there's actually something here. Yep. Nothing really useful, but there's a symmetrical bit down here and some XP. Two seconds. Dunsky. Backtrack, so just a little bit here, but that's pretty much it. I think there's just a switch over here. Oh, it's a challenger, great. It's just a loop back. There's nothing else there. <laughs> and we still get all our heals, so no, well, might as well keep going. No point resting. The section isn't huge, but there's a couple of secrets and um, a lot of boss fights, so.
Oh boy. I think it's a boss this way, but... Ah, oh, Christ. Dodge the other way. It's <laughs> a great execution. No, oh, come on. Notice this one is there's a gap here, right? So it's like, oh, that's suspicious. Oh. Another one of these things. a strange aura, not of this mortal world, numbing as far as the eye can see. A light beckons, a weapon of unbreakable ice tempts and taunts those who attempt to take it for themselves, yet their efforts punish them for their assumptions and ignorance. The Celestial deems them unworthy. All right, so now we got the stigma of catalysis? Catalyses. The power of the opposers strengthens this stigma's wielder and temporarily hastens their attacks without affecting their health. Only one is known to possess such a power, a cosmic force working tirelessly against the mighty ministry. It is an advantage to always be one step ahead. And so this one is kind of neat. Uh, I didn't really use it too much, just like all the other stigmas, but uh, it just makes you attack faster. So you know, we'll give it a shot. And now we're back here. So yeehaw. <clears throat> Let's check the map. Looking good. Alright. Let's keep going. sure this is some kind of fight so let's uh take a look what do we have burning what is this electrocution let's go with dark or something like that and oh, let's just use it who cares hey, 
What's up, Lizzie? How you doing? Pretty good. Have you been? Hope everything's good over there. Hoping to finish this one up tonight. Looks like we just jump it. There's anything down there but death, but you know, we can try investigating later. Put a little marker, just wanna try to die. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's anything. No good. No, I do have forty thousand, I suppose that's worth a level. Let's see. Strength. Since our both our weapons skill at uh, mostly dex, but also a little bit of strength, so get that up even further. Look at that. That is cranking away there. 626. Very good. And yeah, we don't need really. I don't. I think we're done with health. I think we're done with mind. I think 20 is good. 21. Now, 55 decks is really the end of that, too. Watch if we try to. So, let's see. It just goes up by. It goes up by a little bit. I feel like it's better with strength, though. It's significantly better. So, we'll do that. Boop. Oh, yeah. It's definitely drawn from the same kind of pixel art aesthetic but it's really just a uh, goth blasphemous. I think I said that last stream. <laughs> Pretty much is. But really cool. It's actually a little bit more involved because you do have, you know, an actual attribute system. There's not a ton of attributes, only five attributes, but, you know, you level up, allocate points. There's 12 different weapons, so it's a little bit more advanced than... Uh, Blasmus is mechanically. Uh, it's pretty good though. I mean, it's you know, as a Blasmus fan, I recommend it. I'll definitely have a review sometime soon. Just need to get the walkthrough done, and then I'll probably do a review after that. All right, let's see. Where are we going again? High walls, high walls, high walls. It's gonna be a lot of boss fights and stuff coming up. Gets to be a little insane. Evolved Blasphemous. Yeah, yeah, kind of. I mean, you can think of it that way. It's very fun. In fact, I'm going to say this is probably one of my top games of the year. But again, I like very specific games, and this one scratches that itch. I'll we'll go left, since this kind of circles back to where we came. Yeah, 
Yeah, they got the executions like in Blasphemous. Blasphemous 1, at least. I do feel like executions were really missing from Blasphemous 2. Which was one of the cooler things about Blasphemous that I don't really understand what happened. <laughs> Why they chose not to bring them back. I mean, it was just a timing thing. Oh, it's got to drive by. I still haven't played that. Everybody's talking about how good that game is. I see it. It's like, oh, Baldur's Gate 3, Baldur's Gate 3. Like, yeah, 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 I'll get to it. I'll get to it in time. Hey, all right. It's our fetus number 20. Just like Blasmus has those cherubs you gotta find. I don't know how many, there's like 40 of them or something. There's 20 of these embryos that you gotta find. And this is the last one. So we did it, we found them all. We'll trade it in as soon as we go back to the, uh, the hub. Mithrangral resident note. Rumor is that they are relentless, two opposing sides, but one adjoining desire to rule. Despite the devastation they cause, they remain hidden. She gathers followers, women who roam these lands with one intention, sabotage. He recuperates his strength mustered by the innocent, drawing in those who oppose him to further his cause. Need a little bit of uh, exposition. Well, Silk Song's not out, right? Like, it's supposed to be out. It was supposed to be out years ago. We're waiting on that game for a long time, too. Finish Blasphemous 2. Hey, welcome, uh, Costas. Well, if you watch my uh, review of Lords of the Fallen, I said, get it on sale. And I think it is on sale for like 30% off or something, so... I think that's, that's worth it. You know, it's, uh, it's a good game. It's not the greatest Souls-like ever, but it's pretty cool. And I think if you can get it for a discount, then you won't really be disappointed. You just got to put in a few hours to get really into the game where it starts to open up. Get past that one hellish bit that irritated me to no end. But it's good. Uh, for Last Faith, I mean, to me, this is like a definite pickup. Just get it. Get it now. <laughs> like, it's absolutely good. Um, I was really shocked at how good this was. So I guess it depends on what you want to do. If you want, like, they're both pretty long games. I would say this game will take you 20 hours. And I think, I think the replayability on this is pretty high, like, because you can make different builds. You know, it's like, if you like Blasphemous, then you're gonna love this game. And you're gonna love the fact that you can have a bunch of different builds and there's different weapons you can research to figure out how you want to shape your build. And that's great. You know, and if you're looking for classic, you know, Dark Souls, or more metal Dark Souls, then, uh, yeah, Lords of the Fallen is good. And it takes like 30 hours. It's a super long game, super long game, but it's pretty good. And we got another Federal Issue Belt. All right, so we can get more bullets that we never use. Oh, you, oh did you pick up... Uh, which did you pick up? Uh, Razvan. Did you pick up Lords of the Fallen or uh, Last Faith? Hmm. 
Alright, so now we can go back. Looks like there's something up here, too. <laughs> Let's double check that. And this is the path we're supposed to go. Ah, sneaky, sneaky. Something up here. Yeah, what is this way? Oh, you picked up Last Faith. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is, I would argue, absolutely worth it. All right, we're at the church. Church doesn't open from here. Just a lady and her dogs trying to go to church in this gloomy weather. <laughs> All right, cool. So we are good. We're going to go back and just... I guess we could probably get one more level. But I want to drop off that... Uh, the fetus. The final fetus. And then we'll go through here because we got some boss fights. A lot of boss fights coming up. Oops, wrong way. Yeah, Wizzy, if you're still here, I'm streaming a little bit earlier. I thought I was going to have band practice, but not tonight. So, My streaming instead. Once more. My babes are safe. At last, they may be resurrected into their true destined selves. Thank you, stranger. For you have sacrificed much of your time to help a crippled woman. And yet, I feel something is amiss. There is space left in my stroller. Space which I will fill someday. I am certain. And with that, we got the fourth family crest. The Oxneville family crest. The Oxneville family was blessed with the divine power, using their crest to conceal what they know and possess. Medea was the last of the family to wield it. The crest lost in a fearsome battle. Lady Helena is now in possession of the emblem, keen to extract any knowledge she can. However, she is unsuccessful. Perhaps somebody else will prevail. All right, there we go. Let's level up once more. The curse bearer. You are audacious and you'll freak only one place shall be. Yeah, I still haven't even played. I've watched so many people play Bloodborne, but I never had a PlayStation to, to pick it up. I've just been waiting patiently for it to come out on PC. And I feel like that is just never going to happen. So this is a pretty good uh, consolation prize because this is basically like Blasphemous meets Bloodborne. And you do have guns and stuff, but I don't really... The, the guns in this game are kind of like, eh, like, you could try and do want to build just guns, I guess. I feel like that'd be very difficult. <laughs> but I'm happy where we're at with this, so. All right, here comes a few battles. This is the way to go. We got fire, we got dark, we got mana.
Hell yeah. Oh. Oh damn. <laughs> he can one shot you, okay. Gotta get better at dodging that stuff. He almost didn't finish Blasmus to that fight with Everturner was really annoying. Yeah, that was a significant difficulty spike. <laughs> I remember when I was streaming it, getting through it the first time, it took me like 10 tries or something. I was like, are you kidding me? It was so... really unlike anything else in the game, but that's okay. Still had a good time with it. It brought Bloodborne and all sorts of games, but it didn't click. Interesting. Well, the few people that... Uh, I didn't like Bloodborne. Alright, we'll do this again. I think fire was good. Just keep at it. Just gotta blast him with the... the scythe ability more. We got the dried cold liver. Yum, yum, yum. All right, now we have like no heals, so I'm gonna go back, level, drop off the liver to the witch. So that thing's a little crazy. Like the the purple damage is dark damage, and um, kind of interesting. When you get hit with it, it's called nightmare when it procs. And then you move in reverse. So it's like if you try to go to right, you go to the left. You go to the left, you go to the right. It's wicked disorienting. <laughs> That's a good way to screw you up in a boss fight. Because you're like, what? What's happening? Oh, sorry. We'll go to the witch first. Witch, witch, witch. Ah. 
I am most grateful, my dear. I feel its irrefutable power. Oh. Yet, I fear its potential has not yet been fulfilled. Your search is not yet ended. All right, so that is the third liver we've given to her. She does sell a few more spells after just about every time. Not this time, I guess. I don't know if she gives us something else now here, but... Uh, eventually, she will sell an infinite number of demi-shade ores once we get that last liver to her. So it's really important you finish this quest before you go to the main boss. That way you can level up everything indefinitely. Yeah, I know. I, I, everybody I've known has really liked Bloodborne, who's played it. I think this is the aesthetic they really, really dig. Only one place. Right, let's do more strength. 640, hell yeah. Now there is another fight. Um, I'm gonna go back. Because I don't know at what point the, the last guy we need to fight. He's going to be this way. I marked it on the map. This is where the last fight is for the liver. Now, I don't know if it's after we fight the cold one. But we'll find out. I'm just kind of head there really quick. Because I'm curious to see what triggers it. I probably have to get to the... Uh, the Junus Ministry, which is the final area. You gotta get the first checkpoint there. But maybe it's just after the old one? Let's see, I think it's the next room. Yeah. Nothing yet. So we will fight that dude at some point, but not right now, I guess. Yeah, we'll check back after we get to um, the Junus Ministry. We'll see. Otherwise, we'll just continue on. Get through the high walls. There's only... That's kind of the end. I think there's one more boss fight there. Another hard boss fight, I think, is right after this. Which hopefully won't be too bad. And then we get to the Junus Ministry. And that's the last area in the game. So, let's say we're getting close. There's still a bunch of boss fights. We have so many boss fights left. This game really loves throwing the bosses at you. All right, so beep, beep, beep. Where the hell are we? It's further up. Uh, here. Okay. That was a good fight, though. All right. Checking everything for secrets. Oh, yeah, here we go. All right. <laughs> Here's another thing. I think for this, we need burn resist. Yeah. And maybe we'll do dark. We'll do dark. No, we'll do frost. I feel like frost is cool just because it'll slow down the enemy. Or it should. Got plenty of mana. Let's do that. Take heed, thou art 
not unworthy to be in the presence of such a holy place. A mere knife torn, born to serve our righteous Lord Ladak, and serve thee shall. In the name of Junus, thou must not resist. Thou shalt become the very evil you fought so hard to repent. I hate those heat seeking. that only retribution of my Pretty easy. I don't know why I thought that was hard. It's harder on my last build, I guess. A mere knight would have no place here. Could have been the frost really gave me an advantage. I'm not sure, but that was cool. Yeah, we got some more ore, which is great because the final blueprint we need to upgrade everything to plus 10. And it's just around the corner. Technically at the end of this section, but we could probably try to get it a little you know, as quick as we can. Oh. How's he angels? <laughs> Come on, get over here. note it is only atop his holy place where flesh and the divine can connect the chaos of the past surrounding these walls yet the place where the celestial meets the earth must be learned a sepulchre a beacon whomever discovers such a place must ascend both in body and mind Yeah, I want to say this is fairly short challenge room, if I remember. There it is.
what do you think about the next part? Oh, you mean like the DLC or something? Or the sequel? I mean, Lines of P was so interesting because, uh, oh, hey, we got the Federal Admiral's Cannon, uh, an infamous relic of the technological age. This cannon has devastating power. It is very expensive to maintain due to the high cost of ammunition. It is now the preserve of only the most powerful members of the ethereal order. Its purpose dedicated to science, an emergency measure should an experiment get out of hand. Yeah, Liza P was just like very intriguing in a way because I had no interest in it initially. I was like, what the heck is this you know, Pinocchio thing? Like, what the hell do I care about Pinocchio? Well, that's how good the game was. It made you care about Pinocchio. It was like really well written, really well paced. And you know, if they do like a Wizard of Oz spinoff for DLC or a sequel, like that could be interesting too. Like, I think I remember hearing a rumor that Pinocchio would be the, the Tin Man in The Wizard of Oz. Like, they would follow that motif. I mean, that's intriguing. It could maybe work. But if anybody could do it, it's those guys. Like, Neo Wiz did a, a great job at that game. Where does this go then? Ah, secret room. Hey, we did it. More heals. That should get us to max. I think that'll get us to 15. Another ethereal order note. A once magnificent fortress is now a mere refuge for the one who manipulates the celestial power unfathomed by mortals. All is protected from unwanted eyes. There is only one way in to such a bastion, a mirror, yet its location has been lost. Hell to the yeah, we did it. Hell to the yeah. Can have so many heals now. Yeah, that's kind of what I was saying is like, I was like, what is this? Why do I care about this? You know? But after playing through Lies of P a bunch of times, I beat that game so many times, like three. I think I got the new game. I beat new game plus two to get all the achievements and everything. And um, just excellent. I mean, just unbelievably excellent. Actually, you know what? Uh, we'll save... We'll save this right now. Instead, um... Go back here. Because we're really close to the blueprint. We'll just grab the blueprint and then kind of... back out. Actually, we can... We could probably clear this out. I mean, we have 15 heals now. So we'll see. Let's see what we can do. But I think, yeah, I mean, like a Wizard of Oz style thing could be really good. Just gonna mow everybody down. Got me. Oof, man. That packs a punch.
We can open the door. Not like it does anything. We've already been outside there. I guess we'll just try to do this area. Even though... Yeah, whatever. We'll do it. I think we shouldn't have a problem. Bank all this cash we got. Oof, man. So it's a little hard to tell there, but it was one of these guys over here. We killed him, and then it lit up one of those four quadrants. Switch. I'm gonna switch to one of these because we still have a bunch of them. It's kind of a slow heal. three other rooms that connect to this. Okay, you see this? The item is the blueprint. I'm just going to mark it just so everybody knows. That's the blueprint up there. I guess I can get it right. There, perfect. So we got to go all the way around. Might as well clear out all these little rooms. Each of the three rooms has another one of those, I don't know, fire guys. I don't know what you would call them, but... We needed to open the door. Yeah, these guys. Boop, boop. There we go. That wasn't too bad. And there's really nothing else here but death. Just head back. Bishops? Yeah, they're probably bishops. That's a good good term. Brutal. That's one of my favorite executions. Let's go get the third one. I think the scythe is one of the best weapons in the game. It just does insane damage. Staggers. Really can't beat it. Although we do have the blood sword. That's the other one that we're leveling simultaneously. That's three. One more to go. over there. And then we're sitting on 100k, which is going to be probably what we need to upgrade everything to plus 10. We might have enough mats. We'll see. It just keeps going. The biggest church ever. <laughs> it's like 10 times the size of the Vatican. <laughs> Right, 
armor kills. This is what I saved my mana for. Double shot. Twice in a row. <laughs> shot point blank. Still, still kicking. Oh, we missed. <laughs> And I have doors open. Great. Very blasphemously as well, just because, you know, the ending we end in a church. Just like Blasphemous 1. Not complaining. I think it's a good aesthetic. You know what I mean? Go big or go home. So now there's still a way up. I'm trying to figure out how do we get even higher up here. Because we need to get up a bit. Ah, here we go. Getting a little trickier. Get the stun. That's great, we cleared that out. And we're only at plus eight, so I mean, plus ten is gonna be even more devastating to a hilarious degree. This thing is right below us, so... No! Oh, just missed it. The scythe is actually a little split. Um, the scythe is B, dexterity, C, strength. So every time, every few times you level it, the scaling improves. But this one's primary uh, dex. I think when we get to 10, it'll be A, scaling and dex, maybe B in strength, something like that. Uh, the other one we've got is completely split, but it's not far off from what our build is. So it's another uh, predominantly dex weapon, but also scales in strength and mind. I think we could probably get this to A in dex as well. We'll find out. I just got to not screw up the jump so we can get the blueprint. And then we can upgrade things. Ugh. My god. There we go. Boy, really gonna be <laughs> completely dead on with that. There's also a great room to farm. Not sure if it's as fast as the place we've been farming, but... There we go. The masterworks of Nikolai Barsaw finished not long before his sudden demise. Incomprehensible to anyone but experts, the diagrams describe modifications to perfect any instrument of death. Isn't that convenient? <laughs> Blueprints that can upgrade anything. All right, so this is just going to make a big loop. Take us right back to the old bonfire. And this is to the end of the game, so we don't really have a reason to go up there yet. I would say this is sort of the point of no return where you gotta do all the other quests. very important you do pretty much everything at this point because the boss we're going to fight next. 
Uh, he's it. He's like, once you beat that boss, all the quests end. So you have to wrap up everything beforehand, so... Let's go to ye old blacksmith and see if we got enough mats to get things to plus ten. It's kind of neat the way this works. So these blueprints... Uh, the, originally, this guy, he will be able to upgrade weapons to plus two. Then you find blueprint one to get it to plus five, blueprint two to get it to plus eight, and finally blueprint three to get it to plus ten. Well, I never thought I'd lay me eyes on this again. You'll be the talk of the manor, laddie. Can he get any better than this? Awesome. So we are rocking the scythe. Look at that, 25,000. 25,000, and it takes uh, five moon silver stones. So it's not going to change the scaling for eight to nine, but it will do pretty good damage increase. And it doesn't change the scaling either uh, from nine to ten. Oh, sorry. This is just nine. My bad. Eight to nine. I should learn how to count. That would help, right? Oh, no. Confirm, level up. They're about to level ten. Yeah, it is at nine. Nine to ten. I was right. So no scaling change there. Uh, kind of cool. Now we do have this one we can level, and we need Demi Shade Ore. Let's take it from eight to nine. We still got enough. Ah, see, this one changes the scaling in strength, interestingly enough. So it goes D to C on strength from eight to nine. All right. And that's it for the scaling, but it does bump it up a bit more. Oh, we have we just need two thousand. That is ridiculous. Walnuts? Yeah, walnuts are good. I got nothing against walnuts. Also, uh, as a fan of Sopranos, I do like poly walnuts. Oh! <laughs> All right, let's see. We'll just um, we'll do one quick farm just to get like 2,000 XP. Gave us what we need. All right. Up, 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 up. But yeah, then we'll compare what the AR is on both of these. Thirty-six, nine to ten. Some serious blood damage. That's doing some scaling too. 118 plus 127. All right, there we go. So if we look at the two, we got 700 right now with the scythe and 768 with the blood sword. Pretty cool. But all right, we are out of XP, but we have two plus 10 weapons. I love having plus 10 weapons. What? Can anything beat plus 10 weapons? Ah, oh, so good. Those are more satisfying things when you, uh, when you get to the end of the game and it's like, hell yeah, maxed out. Literally cannot be doing any more damage. But scaling is pretty good. Oh, she's down now. We still got one more liver to give to her. We should be able to have that fight now. I hope we can. <laughs> and he should be gone, and he's gone. Okay, so we got two things left to do. Gotta wrap up these quests. Gotta wrap it up. A bitter taste. Well, I mean... I like coffee and beer and everything else. I mean, people say that stuff's bitter. I must have accidentally... Let's just fix the map really quick. I, think I accidentally left a marker up here. We can also clear out these markers now. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. 
That's sick, yeah, we should have 22 and 15, yep. 22 bullets, 15 heals, we are completely maxed out for that. All right, so let's go do the Aldric quest before we forget, because that's very easy to forget. And he's up there. Let's go get him. Friggin' HP bar is insane. Trading gets with this guy. Look at that, just proc and bleed. Proc and bleed. Pretty cool. Here comes Aldric, transformed as this thing. So we get the Lunar Heart of the Ascended, a heart wrapped in stardust of unknown provenance. The structure of the ice crystal seems to have formed in a precise yet unnatural shape. Decipherable in descriptions of the ancient tomes of Oizak, the heart is part of an ancient ritual created on the edges of Moonshade Lake. So that is necessary if you want to get all spells, because if you don't do his quest and he does, you don't fight him here before the end of the game, I don't know if you can. And uh, you need that spell that he drops. We'll buy the other spells from the witch. She only has a few. But it's just another thing to farm for. Just to, you know, just like in Blasphemous, you get to the end, you got to buy out all the merchants and everything. Same, same kind of deal here. All right, quest done. Very good. Now let's go get that last liver. Let's hope we can get it. Let's see. Boop, boop, boop. Look here, yeah. So we'll do this. And then we will do one of the two hidden bosses. Which is going to be cool. It's a very neat looking boss. It's not super fun to fight, but it is cool looking. And I will explain why you have to do things in such a weird order. It's just the way this game is. If you want to get all the endings. It's just like Blasphemous. You have to do very specific things. You will just not get the right endings. Or you'll miss out on getting all three endings in one playthrough. those Muppets up there like, yeah, yeah, no. Nah. Here we go. Yeah, I'll show the map in just a sec. To the air. 
So that is the old man. I don't know if you guys are watching the stream or not, but there's an old man. He kind of talks about something or other and his daughter and yada yada, and he sells crappy items, but he keeps popping up all over the game. And this is how his quest ends. He turns into a monster and you kill him. The end. <laughs> uh, so the whole map. Uh, so the map is in kind of parts. This is the... I'll show you where you start. You start way up here. And then you go this way. <laughs> and then you go this way. And then you go this way. <laughs> but yeah, it's got your standard stuff. There's crypts and swamps and churches and mansions. And this is pretty much the core of it. Then there's Fragment 2, which is the snowy area, which loops around. Goes to a snowy town. And then that uh, sort of like... A, it's almost like a university or something. I think it's like for scholars or something like that. And you got the high wall, just like there was the high wall in Blasmus. And then you get to the pretty much hell or whatever. This is supposed to be the Judas Ministry. And that's it. Well, that was good. Now we gotta drop off that liver, and then once we do, we could buy her spells and stuff. I think you need like 60k or something else, so we'll buy a few of them. Or we could level. You know what? We could just level. We'll buy her stuff at the end, because it doesn't matter really. Once we finish your quest, we can buy stuff later. It needs more diversity. Uh, there, there is actually a good amount of random enemies you don't find anywhere else here, but they, they do mix up. There is some repetition in, in the enemy types. It would have been good if they had just a few more, but there, there's enough. Throughout the whole game, I feel like there's enough. Where it's like, alright. All right, they mixed it up. Let's go back to... the hall, because you have to do this before you go any further. It seems I underestimated you in my thoughts. Traveler, what do you bring before me? It took a great deal of my strength to obtain these. And so, you will be handsomely rewarded. Here, I present one of my wares to guide you. Some traditions are not warranted in such desperate times. Traditions have fallen into darkness, have they not? The one I once regarded, my sister. The leader of the daughters. She turned her back on me. On all of us. I'm the only one of the council to survive. My sister's body is rotting in the swamp. All right, Spectre's Lament, the hand of the last witch. Its bones do not appear to be wrapped in flesh, but rather enrobed in pure dark matter. The pangs of raw darkness that erupt from the ground shake the nightmares of few veterans of the battles for the city and the execution of the daughters of the night tide. This treasured item was harbored by the lone survivor of the extermination for years, no other soul worthy of unleashing its power. We have been wickedly deceived by the whispers of the cosmos, a false hope of faith. They have taken us for fools, and our creations now are enemies. And if you notice this, there's no number in the bottom right corner of this anymore, meaning that she now sells infinite demi-shade ore. This means you can upgrade every special weapon to max. If you want to farm it. Endless mats. And she does sell a couple more spells. Very pricey at yeah, 20,000, 10,000, 15,000, 6,000, so 15,30. So we need like 50 to 60,000 souls just to buy all her stuff. It sounds like a new song, yeah. <laughs> There's great song titles in here. 
And the thing she gave us is some kind of magic. It's this thing. Bring down a dark fist of energy, causing eruptions and obliterating darkness. But I don't have enough magic to do it. It would... I mean, it would work, but it would be negative 58. We'd have to get mined up a bit. I guess if you're going for a mage build, then this would... I mean, she's the best. She's going to give you all the cool spells. I still have to figure out how that would work. Mind and the uh, the hunter one, where you just have the gun. It's very weird. Very weird. But instead, I'm just going to keep leveling. I want to keep doing damage. Yes, keep doing damage. And yeah, we'll farm it a bit. You know, I'm just going to get that up. Punch this through. Now we get uh, 710, 688. That's pretty good. What level are we, anyway? We are level 110. Okay. Yeah, we're pretty much... Our build is basically done. All right, so now we need to look at the map and figure out what the hell... What is even left? We've okay, basically done everything. I think all that's really left are the two optional bosses. So we'll do that. Let's do one of these bosses, and then we'll save the other one. So the way this works is really weird. So at the end of the game, there's three endings. You get a choice to either accept or refuse. Uh, and if you accept, the game ends. If you refuse, you have a boss fight. Now, these two optional bosses come into play because if you beat them both, you get two unique items, which are these, their eyes, right? You get one eye from one fight, another eye from the other fight. If you have both eyes and you choose the refuse option, you get a secret boss fight and the true ending. But you only have two choices, so you have to, like, accept, refuse, get both eyes, go back again and refuse again, and then you can fight the last, the real final boss. Really weird and obscure, but whatever. That's how these games are, right? I'm not gonna try to debate why they made it so confusing. But it's interesting in that sense where if you try to explore everything and you fought these two bosses beforehand, you'll basically get locked out of ending B, which is what happened to me on my first playthrough. And here I'm really trying to get A, B, and C in one go. Now you can see these floating skulls. This is the ghost lady telling us where we should go. A while back, we bought a mask and we talked to her. She is in this room up here. She was. And she's trying to tell us to go this way because there is a pretty decent boss that we're going to fight. So. And there she is again. She's going to give us a little... A little alley oop there. Uh, for this, I want to say it's dark, so let's get our dark removal. Uh, I don't think we're really gonna need. I don't know. We'll keep our heels. Keep this as is, and we'll see which one does better. I don't know if the the blood sword will be better for this fight. Maybe we'll try the blood sword. And I really don't think there's really any point to. Here we go. Oh, I hate that tornado. Messes you up.
can avoid it that way. Okay, that's how you avoid that. Damage that does. It's over there. Esk's left eye. No stature or office can shield the heart from its own harsh vice. A passion ravaged by adversity and used as leverage. The head of the Junus Ministry lost his confidant, but harbored a deeper contempt for the one who saw beyond, humiliated and dangerous. If you're wondering, this is how you get through that locked door down there. So I'll take that off. Go. Get the fight over here. That's why I don't recommend fighting the, the Hydra until you got level 10 weapons. It's just it's so tedious because all you can do is jump attack. And they have some cheap moves. Switch back to the scythe. Ah, that worked out. Blood, uh, blood sword was pretty good. go now. I think this is it. Alright, so. Just to recap, you know what, we might as well talk to everybody, because one last thing. After we fight this boss, everybody turns into a lantern for some reason. To lay my eyes upon you. So if you haven't talked to anybody, this is the time to do it. Such a treasure you have in your possession, the eyes of one who saw all, yet whose soul could not fathom all that it witnessed. He was of stronger mind and heart than you. No one is ready for what is beyond the sight of the naked human eye. Hmm. 
Oh, they just didn't read that last line. Okay. I don't know how many heals we got. 93? Yeah, we're fine. Tell me more about the curse that has its hold on me. Unrelenting. But made by those who should have held the wisdom bestowed upon them by the common being. It is a great shame that such folly should tarnish the lives of the majority. What can you tell me of Laddick and this Junus ministry of which I've heard whispers? A man unworthy of his position, his power obtained through distraction and deceit. Alas, the resting place is not the only location Laddak has soiled with his muck. He controls many of the sacred places we once called home. The mark you bear is one I have seen before. Whispers say it is the mark of the imprisoned, the disgraced. But that is what a man like Ladakh and his misguided ministry would want you to believe. Neither he nor his erroneous clergy is to be trusted. What can you tell me about these sacred places? It would be wise to reflect upon the true self. For you will find a place of mirrors that show a reflection unrecognizable. It's people driven mad by experimentation. A cage created by a power that should be unimaginable, but is greatly sought. Another is buried deep in rage. Even the bones of our civilization are open to Ladakh's wrath. Uprooted and now fallen in ruin, in the deep forest, he has taken our churches, our homes, our... Another is shrouded in numbness. Despite Ladakh's influence, he has an adversary he does not dare to face. A man in his sordid kingdom, where the snow never ceases. The final... Well, this is when Ladakh himself must be sought in his lair. But the opportunity to defeat him will be limited, for all other threats must be eliminated before he can be destroyed. Return to me once you have truly comprehended the threat we face and the places most revered. Only then will you begin to understand. Only then can I gift you with more than just words. Which reminds me, um, we actually have another boss fight that we can fight now. Down here in the crypts. So we got those four uh, seals, the four crests. And now we can open the way here. Fight a really cool boss. And that, I believe, is the last thing we gotta do before we fight Laddick. But yeah, let's just talk to everybody because I am gratified to not gonna be able to soon enough. I don't think I talked to this dude at all yet, so... Mithringal. Tell me of this place. I recall my days in Mithringal with fondness, dear wanderer. Yet it is a city that now exists merely in my dreams. The contamination smote what I held most dear. The cloud still holds the city hostage. Hence why I remain here. With no hope of forgetting, despair and distrust has overwhelmed the people. Just like our ancestors, we squabble and doubt each other's loyalty. We've not learned from their mistakes. Surely you must have some desire to leave this place. If I were to leave, it would challenge the despicable power that controls our beloved Mithringal. A terrifying power no one dares to test. And that includes you. That is why you must find Herman. He is the man who seeks the cure for your affliction. I sense agitation in you, and befuddlement. Has the mutation taken you within its merciless grasp? Soon the cold will overwhelm you, wanderer. Make a monster of you. You will become one of them, your heart all consumed. You are not the only wanderer I have seen fall into this affliction. Recognizable only by the mark you bear. A mark of insurrection. The walls of the place where I was held captive were adorned with this symbol, the same as lined Hermit's halls. Do you know of its origin? 
the symbol of devotees to the gods. They themselves are a poison, contaminating past the Cathedral and Mithringal borders. The creatures that lie in wait there are overcome with that symbol as they grow stronger, spreading their infection into the hearts of innocents. The Cathedral? A place descended from the heavens. It shows us who will rule us and how we must honor them in death. It is an ancient tradition, founded at the city's birth. What happened to the proprietors of such a place? The people of the Cathedral were determined to survive. Their solution was to synthesize a power most great to see to their survival. But it spread, mercilessly infecting many, taking their hearts for its own. You may feel the Nycrux clamping your heart in a vice this very moment, young wanderer. But the hearts of these creatures are pure, undiluted evil. We do not dare speak their names. This mysterious symbol, borne by my pursuers in the palace, do you know its meaning? Indeed. Why? Do you not know its origin? I now bear witness to the curious emblem that brands you in blood. I heard that those who sought you out are poisoned by a deathly thirst. Now servants of the ethereal order, they are devout to the place they once deemed the lair of their adversaries, the grandest and most sacred sector of Mithringal. I would be astonished if it is not an adversary you share with them. No one is certain, but I have heard that they linger in the place from whence the moonlight spawns, where the founding of the church order originated, a sacred sanctuary for the most esteemed and haunted believers. Despite its prominence, no soul has ventured there long since. Whispers of a disused passage now wrought with infection. Entry is prohibited by minds wiser than our own. Yet, it is said that such a passage leads to knowledge that may shed light on these atrocities that have plagued us. Thanks, Mark. All right, here we go. Lots of exposition there. I am no longer alone. There is no fa- Dearest mister, just like you, a good tiding. Yep, they're all set. Blacksmith doesn't say anything. Double check. Nope. All the candles are lit. And she doesn't say anything new. She just goes yabby yabby yabby. Curse bearer, you are audacious in your frequent visitations and wanderings. Oh, What's up, Jeff? How you doing? Yeah, we finished the fetus quest. We got the seal. Actually, we can level. Might as well do that really quick. Curse bearer. Only one play. Boop, boop. Go if we get strength to like 30. I mean, both weapons are up to 700 or so, so that's pretty great. All right, so let's go do the other kind of secret. It's not really a secret boss. It's what you need all those crests for that we got. But we got to go back to the crypts. Oh, uh, yep. And then we can go fight Laddick. But I want to see if, like, after we fight this boss, if... What's her name? Annabelle or whoever the nurse is. If she has any other dialogue options. Because that's it. That's, like, the last time you can really talk to her. Everything else is done. Y'all yeah, is good, man. I'm trying to wrap this up tonight. We're getting to the end. So we come in here, we see that there is a locked door, and there's this cistern or something with four icons. For the four crests. Oh, 
just to check this. We got dark. We got two heals. Yes, that's what we need. This is definitely a dark boss. I may use blood again. Let's try the blood. It worked before. did a ton of damage. Cheap shots. I got hit with Nightmare right as that happened. Ugh. Uh, this is probably fine. I think this weapon will do it. I am going to drop this. I don't think we need it. So I'll just have those three. I'm going to use more of the blood up front, though. Take the get some heals on here. Ooh, 
this again. <laughs> back to him. That is one of the last ones. Four. Pretty sure Laddick gives us one as well. Peasant note. Is it true then that the highest of nobles ventured here to conceal the secret of the one power? I feel their presence, what they have done, consequences that cannot be reversed, from which no one can hide. Yet I feel a wrath that is not human. Perhaps tis a god. No, tis no god, yet it carries the might of one. This is only the beginning, the ramifications that shall be felt by all in these lands. And we get another charm. Let's see what that does. Looks like it's this one. Negative um, 15% power costs. Okay. Never going to use it. But, hey, that was cool. I think I'll use this to buy the spells from the witch. And we still got things from the blacksmith we need to buy. He's got a bunch of weapons, too. But that's a fun fight. Very cool. And easily missable. You could completely miss a crest or not know that you need to pick those up. If you don't do the 20 fetus quest, you won't have the final one to open that door. It's all in all pretty good. That's right, so now after we make one more trip back to the manor to buy some stuff. Then we can finally progress. And we are getting to the end. We are getting to end game. We have three bosses left. We might have to fight one of them twice to get all the endings, I guess. So we'll see. Just enough to get these spells. Let's find out. All right, we bought all her spells, and all she's going to sell now is infinite demi shade ore and a bunch of stuff, which is pretty good. What do we got? Uh, we'll buy some of these. I think we're good. Now, if we take a look at the blacksmith, we can get an idea of how much cash we need, how many souls we need to buy the remaining items. So he'll sell a few items now that we've given him all those blueprints. Um, yeah, so he does sell infinite moon silver stone, which is 
your basic upgrade mat for common items or just physical damage items. And he's gonna sell one, two, so 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. So we need 30,000 to buy the Blunder Blade, Fire Striker Blade, which is the sword in all the, the promo art for this game. And it's, inter it's interesting just because it's the highest scaling instinct weapon. So I guess if you're going for like a gun build, a hunter build, then this is the weapon you would probably leverage. Which is interesting. It's a weird split. So it's like you still need points in uh, strength and dex, but not a lot. 12 and 13. I kind of want to try that weapon to see how it is, but... You know, this Lena's bow is incredibly good for a, um... Well, it, it just, it's the same fire thing, that pillar of fire, that horizontal f pillar of fire, that, uh... Lena or whatever, when we fight her. That's up there, but alright, let's talk to what's your face here and see if there's any new dialogue options. After we kill the god. We must be vigilant. Now that the denizen of the Frosted Fortress has been defeated, Ladakh will become even more dangerous. My faith is with you, Eric. You must continue yonder, for you have further to tread on your journey. Okie doke. Yeah, she doesn't say anything new. I don't know if, like, her quest just abruptly ends and there's not really any resolution to it, but apparently. Right, finally, now we can actually get going here. Okay, we'll re-equip the bonus heals just so we got something. Get over here. was my only opportunity to correct what has been done. What you and I have both done has doomed the world to more than it can endure. 
Tis a load that was always too leaden for our shoulders. In order to vanquish Ladakh, we must find a solution. And I fear it will not be a painless one. My attempt to fail.
<laughs> Four in a row. Love that fight. So fun. So now everybody turns into lanterns for some reason. Everybody at the mansion, at least. That's a health bar. <laughs> Same down. So cool. What a great fight that is. I gotta say, for the bosses, all the bosses are pretty great. die, we don't have to find our way back to the, the bonfire. Just a brisk walk. point you can't travel back to the mansion you have to go to the nearest one which is like way 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 back you have to go like back to the where the hell is it you have to go all the way back to the beginning No 
everybody is a lantern. They still function the same. You can level up. Just can't really discuss anything. She's still kicking, though. No issues for her. Did she say anything? And yet... Nope. So she does not transform for whatever reason. Yeah, Mark disappears. Traces of Annabelle. Yep, she's gone. Which is also a lantern, but you can still buy everything. You can buy infinite demi shade. Anything else you might need. That's pretty cool. I believe the kids are gone as well. Yep. Alright, blacksmith, let's just buy whatever we need. You can still level too. Alright, so we'll buy the items. Boom. 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 Save it. Oh, looks like we can level. There's literally nothing left to buy, as far as I understand. Strength up just a little bit more. But I'm sure it's really inconsequential at this point. So let's just take a look at what we got. Uh, we got all this stuff. I don't think we're missing anything. Oh, we're missing the eye. One more eye. That's it. And we'll we'll get the other eye shortly. We have to have one more fight first, and then we can do that. It's just consumables. Yep, there's 12 weapons. That sounds right to me. We got all 12. I believe this is everything. So one, two, three, four, six guns. Boop, 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 boop. And 12 spells sound about right. Just for the sake of completion, I'll compare it against my other save where I got all the achievements. And 93%, 96%. If you look at the inventory. No, oh, looks like there is one more thing here. I wonder what we're missing. Or maybe it's just something we get towards the end. Maybe I'm missing the charm. How many charms are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten charms. Okay. And then do ba do. Oh, look at this one. So we are missing one sword. I think we might be missing a charm, a sword, one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. Okay. Huh. Devour of the Betrayed. I'm pretty sure we got that. The Tides Rot, Storm Chaser. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we get that as a reward from the... The boss that will fight again, or not again, the boss we haven't fought yet down in the Rosen area. So that's what that is. We got all of those, we got all of those, we got all of those. And we might get another charm from that too. I think that's what the only difference is. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
And if we compare that... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, yeah, okay. So it's got to be that last boss that we fight down there. It has to be. Alrighty. Well, this is the point at which we will do the endings. Now we're in this cool zone way off over here. We're going to get A, B, and C. That's the plan. Annabella, Katarina, what brings you to this place? Courage has, has blessed, blessed you. you. Now you, you must, must be honored. I do not wish for such a thing. Come, Nell. You have fought against the darkness, healed the hearts of so many. You are one of us in this revered chamber. Ladakh is defeated. Diminished. Ladakh is slain, yes. But I fear his influence still lingers. You are correct. But no matter. You have joined us. You have finally relinquished yourself of that feeble vanguard order. For your moral actions, you must take your place upon the throne to rule and guide all who live in this terrible place. You will bring balance back to so many. We have all been terrorized for far too long, sitting in the shadow, slowly decaying, with our hope dwindling with every passing second. We have seen what you have done for all of us. You have brought us together, cast aside our woes. There is no one more worthy. Take the throne and continue your noble work. Annabella and I will remain beside you. Learned counsel for you to lend an eager ear. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. So you can accept, that's ending A. We can refuse and get ending B because we have less than two eyes. We only got one of them so far. But if we were to find both eyes before this and we refused, then that would get us to ending C. So we're going to do accept, refuse, so ending A, ending B, then we're going to go get the second I, and then we're going to refuse again to get ending C. It's so complicated, I don't know, it's, it's a little convoluted, but... You have made a valiant choice, sacrificing yourself for all who seek hope. Rest, sire. Your new throne must be a comfort to you. All hail, Eric. You have taken your place amongst your true kin, Eric. And so it is written. Your new existence. One that was always meant for you. The path you have taken has led to this moment. This honor. To serve your god. Welcome home, Eric. Well, it's ending A.
There we go. Controller kind of wigged out for a second, so I have to... I was like, I know you can fast forward through them. It just wasn't working. I had to replug it in. Pretty cool, all these people backed him. It's a lot of backers. It did go up 1%. <laughs> Went up a whole percent. So maybe, I don't know, maybe that does factor into something, but... But anyway, you start right there. Yeah, I'm just going to breeze through that dialogue again, because I don't need to hear that for the 50th time. Annabella, Catar Courage. I do not come now. Ladak is Ladak is slain. You are correct, but no matter. For your moral act upon the throne, we have seen what take the throne. This is for ending B. Decline. How dare you? We weakened Ladak, ground him down until we could rip out his heart. You merely completed the task. We set your destiny in motion, a clear path for you to tread. A prosperous future anointed you a key entity of a single force to oversee these lands. But you have rejected this destiny. So be it. You will not survive for long. You shall kneel to your god. Will kneel to me. <laughs>
Ne? Reject your fate, despite all you have endured. I gaze now upon your wretched husk and ponder upon what could have been fulfilled. Alas, I shall gather further disciples to heal what has been squandered this day. But your fate has been decided. Feel the final judgment of the faith, Eric, for it is just. Rest well. All right, that's ending B. Two bosses left. Gotta go fight an ice dragon in the frost area and then we gotta go fight uh the final final boss i don't know if we gotta do the sisters again we'll see kind of annoying if we have to do that and then go to the final boss whatever figure it out and maybe accounts towards percent completed one percent two percent we'll see
Yeah, see, still 94%. It didn't really change anything. But we got it. That's ending two. And you don't get any souls or anything for beating that, which is kind of lame. I want to switch to this. We're going to use, let's see, probably don't need that. Let's use some fire. And I'm guessing it's frost, so we'll get some frost resist. Here we go. that boss. That was pretty good. Yep, now we got the Illigarth Boreal Blade, combination of unique alloy and stardust. The blade is a weapon of choice for these who, for those who resided in a once majestic fortress. There are whispers that its walls beckoned to the Nova Alaris, but alas, it now lies in ruin. Driven into the head of an abomination, the blade has been dedicated to celestial rituals with the potential to allow a master of the stardust power to reveal its secrets. And so that weapon, yeah, now we got all the swords. That's good. Is the ill, here we go. This is uh, interesting. It is a magic weapon. Gale's mind split in strength and dex, and it does frost, which is probably really good, honestly. Hey, and we got that charm. Good, good. Going to inventory. Ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. We got everything but that other eye. And then we got S right eye. Some of her whispers of a path of the cosmos and its keeper. Their soothing voice of comfort to the one who dedicated his life to rid the world of the Junus ministry and its leader. A mere glimpse would never be enough. And there you go. That's the ghost quest done. We got both eyes. Go to the inventory. It looks exactly like... Yeah, we got the one down there. We got should have ten charms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got eight and two is ten. I know we got that. <laughs> and what the heck was this one? I'm guessing it's just frost resistance. Yeah, the full moon charm, yeah. Pretty neat. That's a pretty big fight. You do get a lot out of that. Which is interesting. Now that's done. Hooray. We could probably get another level or two out of strength. Yeah, 
Yeah, look at that. Boom. Up to 31. Now we're doing 735, 714. And for this, we'll... What is this? Frost? Change that. I think dark is probably better. Alrighty, that should be good. We'll see if we have to fight the terrible twosome again. Should be annoying, but we'll see. Now we do. Ugh. Annabella. Katarina. Courage. I do not wish. Come now. Laddock is... Laddock is slain. You are correct. But no matter. For your moral act upon the throne, we have seen... Take the throne. Now we refuse yet again, and this should give us ending C. So we do have to fight them one more time, and then we'll fight the secret final, final, final boss. <laughs> That's it. Decline. We set your... But duty. you... <laughs> Unicorn sisters. Look at that hit me. That's cheap. Come now. Your ineffectual efforts are ludicrous. start. <laughs> That uh, power. It's too bad.
think I can hit her if I... When the, the red bit shows up, then I can do the special. Cheers. <laughs> I shall put your mind and body to rest for eternity. Your life is but a ruin. Heal or something? This is weird. Can't seem to get a health any lower. Still taking a shield. Do it this time. Oh, damn. Run out of heels here. 
you shall That was good. <laughs> That's all she wrote for heels. I got nothing else queued up here. Man. By an ice cube. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. That's that stuff. Uh, first of all, we need more heals. I don't know if uh, we can get rid of this. We'll put uh, this. I guess fire. We'll try fire damage on that. And we got a little bit of bonus. Let's use some of these bigger ones. Restores a great amount of focus. Because there's nothing we can do to really. Buff that. We can try beast mode. Maybe beast mode will come in handy here if we really need it. It's the only other thing. I don't think I have to fight the terrible two again. I think we can just get into it here. Come on. These ice cubes just will not go away. Ah, stupid. Yeah. Like, that was pretty good. Actually, I think I'm going to buff with fire. And see how that does. Might cut her down a little bit more. Do that when we get to the end of this room. And just try to spam the... Uh... Yeah, it's doing much better there. It's just like, ugh. Ugh, 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 ugh. I wish this buff would last longer too. It doesn't last very long. You shall Good.
Those are bogus frickin' shields. Taking any risks. The deceptions of the divine. The last faith reaches its end. All right, ending C. Okay, that's a good one. It's a very fun fight. Definitely needed that fire damage, so a standard weapon was best. She does so much with ice, that kind of makes sense. But alright, that's it. I mean, we'll see what we get for a percentage. Again, I did everything but ending B on my other playthrough, and I got 96%. And that seems to be what most people have. 96% and all the achievements and everything, so... I don't know what else there is to do. You got every weapon, you got every spell, you got all the items, you got all the notes, you got everything. You beat all the bosses. I mean, if it's map percentage, that's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> you know, there's really not much there. There's nothing else to explore than to try to like jump around, I guess. I don't, I can't imagine that's necessary. Oh yeah. Totally worth playing this game, gotta tell you. It's my second time all the way through here. I love it. Probably do a third uh, playthrough. Maybe I'll try a mind build. Test out some of those other weapons. Let's scale with mind. But overall, yeah, this is a great game. This is absolutely a great game. And certainly in my top games of the year. I'll have to do that in December. I'll make like a best Souls-like, you know, do some kind of award thing. Yeah, 96 again. So I mean, I, I can compare the two just in terms of what items we got. I'm just going to go travel back to the hall. But I'm pretty sure we did it. You know what I mean? So if we look at this, it goes down, and there's one left. All right. I know we got everything. This doesn't matter. These are just collectibles. There are... One, two, 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 13 swords, which is interesting. And then you got six firearms. 12 spells. Four of each. I mean, that seems to be right. We compare that with the other save. And one item down there. One item down there. 
You get the 13 swords, the 6 firearms, and the 12 spells. That's it. The hell else is there? <laughs> Alright, so I mean, despite that the file says 96%, I am certain that it's like you've done everything. There's nothing else to do, so I don't... I don't know what the remaining four is, and I don't think anybody knows. I think it's just a bug because even, um, like, at least on PC, there's 53 achievements to get the platinum, and the 53rd is given to you if you're supposed if you complete all 52. So if you get all 52, it's like you did everything for the 53rd, but that doesn't pop either. So I think there are some bugs in terms of. Uh, measuring completion and so it's as good as it's gonna be but anyway that is the last faith I love this game I love it I am a huge fan of this and I highly recommend it it's about 25 bucks to pick up just came out and man it is it's a solid solid game if you're a fan of Blasphemous or Metroidvanias or Souls Likes I mean this is unbelievable and uh, if you want gothic Blasphemous there you go <laughs> Gothic Blasphemous with more weapons and a Souls-like leveling system. Really can't beat it. Really can't beat it. I mean, I've already gotten so much time. How much time have I got out of this now? I've got 40 hours in this game. 35 Canadian. Oh, there you go. The transfer rates. <laughs> but still, I mean, it's cheaper than like a AAA game. And like I said, I got 40 hours out of two playthroughs. So, I mean, 20 hours a pop if you want to get do basically everything in it, 100% it. And that's huge. I, I just think it's it's excellent. It's up there with, you know, Blasphemous 1 and 2 for sure. Uh, but I, I really like the style, I think. And I know a lot of people, oh, they're ripping off Blasphemous. Oh, yeah, they're just stealing. It's theft. You know, I'm like, what? <laughs> like, it's like a pixel art style. And I'm pretty sure that's just how things look if you use that Unity 2D engine, which is what Blasmus uses and what Last Faith, Faith uses. So they're using the same engine to do the same things and animate similar things. So it's going to look similar. Uh, but yes, yeah, certainly there's a lot of that influence from Blasmus. And I think, I, I think they did a good homage to it. You know, they made something distinct. Still, it has a lot. You can tell there's so many influences from Blasmus in it, but... I mean, I dig it. It's definitely Blasphemous, Bloodborne, Dark Souls. <laughs> you, know? I, you can't go wrong with it. How could you do wrong? It's like it's like this perfect amalgamation of all these other great games. And it does things right. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't just rip anything off. It does its own thing. Uh, all the, the weapons, for the most part, feel good. I do think the whip needs a buff. I think the whip is probably the weakest weapon, and that's kind of weird because I want to do a Castlevania kind of build, you know, like... A, and it, it just kind of fell off towards the apostate. I do think the middle of the game is the hardest part of the game. Like, that apostate fight is the most difficult because you can only get up to level 5 weapons. And that whip, I mean, I don't know if you've, you guys watched that uh, part of the stream or either in the future where I was watching this walkthrough. I mean, that took me like a solid 10 minutes or something, just slowly chipping away damage with the whip. And it was just a little underwhelming like i figured that you know they're pulling so much from castlevania that the whip would be like op and it really isn't every other weapon is way better than the whip so i feel a little shortchanged in that regard uh but but anyway i'm sure they're gonna make some changes they'll do some balancing they haven't really even put out a patch yet so i think they're just gonna you know take a lot of this feedback and figure out what to do and prioritize what needs to get fixed uh, but it is, it's completely playable, you know, you, you can go through it. There's nothing to, to hold you back from that in the meantime. Um, if you see a lot of people commenting on it, I, I don't know, it's just like, people are like, oh, I, I'm, I'm dying too much to the bosses, and I don't like the fact that I don't get enough healing items back. It's like, have you never played, <laughs> like, a Souls-like game that's supposed to be, there's supposed to be some semblance of challenge. The bosses, you're supposed to learn the moves and, you know, and figure it out, like... You know, this is my second time through, and we got through most of these fights, like, the first try. There were some of them I had to do two times, but, uh, you know, you memorize it, right? That's the fun, is, like, the dance. You know, you figure it out, and then you, you master it, and you mop the floor with them. And I think the only in the middle of the game is that 
fairly difficult because you can't get enough damage. You're not doing enough damage. You can only do so much damage at level 5 uh, weapons. And then immediately thereafter, you get up to level 8 weapons. And I think the strategy is, is every time you get a blueprint, you max out your weapon. Uh, and I think the previous stream, I showed you where to go farming to farm, like, you know, 2,500 XP per 30 seconds or something. So you can just get, like, 10,000 in two minutes or three minutes. Um, and you can just completely keep leveling up your weapons, especially since the blacksmith gives you the uh, upgrade material, the upgrade ore, the moon something ore. Uh, he has an infinite amount once you give him the second blueprint. So you can get every basic weapon to plus eight, and at least one of your um, other weapons, the special weapons, to plus eight as well, between the ore that you find throughout the game to that point, plus what the blacksmith sells and what the witch sells. And then, like I said, at the end of the game, if you do the witch's quest correctly, she'll sell infinite uh, demi-shade ore. So you can get all the other special weapons up to plus ten. And so you can max every single weapon out if you want to. I mean, you can do that. And I like that the fact I like the fact that the game gives you the ability to just keep farming. You can keep leveling. Like literally after you get after you get the second blueprint and you can get a plus eight weapon, you can just farm and farm and farm. You can just level up and you can be completely overpowered. You get to like level hundred before you do the other half of the game if you want to. You know, that's the beauty of these Souls-like games, that they give you the option to do that. You can just keep farming away and keep, you know, uh, ex exponentially increasing your power. And I think it works great. Um, I'm trying to think about anything else. I, I do feel that the third blueprint is way too far. It shouldn't be right before the last boss. I think they should give you the third blueprint after the... It's like the... I don't know what... It's the, the region castle or whatever the hell that is. The scientific area. The big, the big super area where we looped around and it was uh, like at the tail end of the frost area. I think they should give it to you then. And then going through the last two areas, like the high walls and the Junus ministry, you should be at plus 10. I think that makes sense. This is weird to give you the final blueprint right before the final boss. It's like, yeah, but you could have, <laughs> you should have had that like before, you know, that way you feel like you're stampeding your way to the end. You know, like you're just completely overpowered by that point. And this is the game's supposed to do, in my opinion. It's, you know, these, these games are power fantasies, so it's about getting to the end end state where you can just steamroll your way to the final boss. But I love the boss fights. The boss fights in this are so good. Like all of them are excellent. I would say they're better than uh, the Blasphemous 2 fights, except for Everturno. Everturno is really difficult, and that's a massive difficulty spike in that game. But in general, the, the boss fights in Blasphemous 1, Last Faith, excellent. Like, I don't know, I just I feel like this game is probably not going to get enough recognition and attention it deserves, so I'm going to do my best to make some more content for this. But at least we got it. The whole playthrough is done. Everything's done. We beat every boss, we went through every area, we found every secret, we did everything. And I got all three endings in one playthrough. So that's illustrated how to do that here. And yeah, I mean, if there is anything else, I mean, I'll probably hold off maybe a few days. I'll wait till like the weekend to see if these guys put out a patch. Otherwise, I'm going to put out my walkthrough and just say like, this is, this is it. There's nothing else to do. I don't know what else you need for the file to recognize you hit 100%. But anyway, I think that's sufficient enough, and uh, that's my plan. You know, after Thanksgiving, I'll, I'll compile a walkthrough, figure out how long this is. Maybe I can get into one video. It might be two. Uh, Twelve hours is the limit for one video on YouTube, so we'll have to see. I think if I shave off deaths and stuff like that, and maybe just fast-forward farming, cut stuff out like that, then I could probably get it into the 12 hours, so... But all right, cool. That was a lot of fun. Thank you, everybody. Uh, so thanks a lot, Jeff, too. Uh, it was a blast uh, with uh, all your uh, ex-girlfriend comments. <laughs> that was funny. And everyone else was swinging by, Wizzy and, and, and was it Rasvin and everybody else here. This is a great one. Love this game. Go buy this game. Support these devs because they made something really great. And while it's not quite at the level of what I consider to be high art like Blasphemous is, it's pretty close. Like, they they almost hit it. Uh, I think if they give it a little bit more polish, uh, they could probably get there. It's really just uh, the presentation, I think, in Blasphemous is 
really much better than music and everything, honestly. Carlos Viola, that's a huge <laughs> boon for, for the Blasphemous side, but music wasn't bad in this. Everything was pretty good. Uh, any, any issues I have are really just nitpicks, so, you know, go get this game. If you're looking for something, especially you got some time, uh, you know, you stateside, we got Thanksgiving, so it's a great game to play over a long weekend and uh, highly recommend it. So I will have my review. That's my preview. <laughs> I'll make an official review too, probably over the next week. So look out for that. And thanks again for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one, probably in the walkthrough. All right. Thanks a lot. Hey, take it easy, guys. Bye bye.